Hey, what is up guys in VASS here and welcome to another video on Code Within VAS series. Uh, this is a question that I uh, stumbled upon while watching YouTube videos. Uh, I was watching this video from Pram Mock Technical Interview Data Structures and Algorithms from this guy called Nick White. Uh, I just came across him today on LinkedIn and uh, He's kind of making cool videos. So this video kind of, you know, had me. I wanted to, you know, while I was watching this video, I didn't completely watch the video. I just read the question and uh, that video had me. I felt like I want to do this problem. And then I Googled and find out, found, I Googled it up and found out that there's a similar question in lead code, which is kind of what the Pramp interview was. I'll leave the link to that video in uh, the description below. Pramp mock interview, uh, data structures and algorithms from Nick White. Uh, I didn't watch the entire video, but I liked the question. So I decided I'll try to go ahead and do this problem and see how it works. So the question here is, I mean, it is in the easy, easy category and the title is path sum. Given a binary tree and a sum, determine if the tree has a uh, root to leaf path such that adding up all the values along the path equals the given sum. So here the question, I mean, path, uh, this question is different, sales path. This is more or less like finding the shortest path from root to leaf uh, by summing up all the nodes. And this question is given a sum, you'll have to find out, do you have a path which has that sum? All right. If there is a path, then you would return true. All right. So if there is no path, I assume you'll return false given a tree. So this is again a, leave, a tree question, tree based question. I had a trouble doing such kind of video last time, but let's go ahead and try this one. So here I have five and it has two child nodes, four and eight and four has 11 and there is no right node and 11 has seven and two, right? And same thing goes with eight has 13 and four, four has one. So now this is just a basic binary tree. And uh, in this question, again, I'm comparing, this is not necessarily a binary tree. But this one is so we have a left and a right and we are not sure if we have a left uh, and right for every node so it's not a complete binary tree let's uh, try to do it i mean my goal is to take the recursive approach and find out whether i have anything with some 22 or not so uh this is how i'm planning to do like i have five right so five has two children four and eight i'll go with uh now five this is how I think about recursive problems which involve trees. I somehow imagine that in the form of a company hierarchy. All right. So now the root node is the CEO. All right. He has a question to ask. All right. He has a question to find out. So what that CEO does is it will go to his immediate people who are under him, who are uh, answerable to him. Uh, and maybe he's the CEO and he's the CFO and he'll ask those people to find out the answer. Now, CEO is not going to stop his work and find out the answer. Right. So he would probably go to people who are under him and find out. So that's how you will finally get that basic software engineer or the basic person who is under the hierarchy, like who's at the lowest level of the hierarchy to give the answer. And then that goes up and up. So that's how I imagine recursion with trees. So here I have five and five is asking four and eight to find out the answer, right? So for five, you need uh, to find, you need to find out if there is a path which has some 22, right? So what five does is it knows its value is five. So it'll ask four and eight to tell to tell if it if they have a path which go up with you know twenty two minus five. So four and eight are supposed to find out whether they have a path with some seventeen, right? Seventeen minus seventeen plus five is twenty two. So four would go for eleven and ask if it's having a path which is seventeen minus four, which makes it sixteen, right? Oh wait, my math is correct. Seventeen minus four is thirteen stupid so my four, four now four will ask its child whether it has a path of you know 17 minus 4 which is 13 and 11 would go down and ask 7 if it's have if its value is i mean if it's a uh, having a child or if its sum is uh how much is 11 minus uh sorry 13 minus 11 2 so 7 would return false because it's having nothing and it's not value its value is not 2 and two would return true, and that's how the response is going to back uh, go back to five, right? If it was not the case, if if the values uh, is uh, let's not let's say it's not twenty two, but it's something like uh, it was for 12, 13, 18. If the value is eighteen, then here my uh, this leaf two would also return false. Eleven would say false. Now four would say false, and five would ask eight what is the value, and eight would go thirteen false. Four maybe one yes. 
so the response goes back so that's how i am planning to do this problem uh, let's let's try to do it recursively so it's uh, okay the function is also very convenient to us now let's start with the recursive style so we have a base condition and recursive condition right so in the base condition i say if uh, no dot left equals equals none and no dot right equals equals none so i don't have a left child or a right child then return sum equals equals node dot val right okay let's not go with the name node let's go with the root so if i am a leaf node i don't have a left child or right child then if my value is match matching the value of sum then i'd say true if not i'd say false right so that is the base condition so this is the guy who does the job like the base employee is the person who's responsible for you know getting things done and all these people are managers they're they're like their job is to plan work accordingly agreed but they're not the one who are doing the basic fundamental thing so now my leaf node is the one which executes the base condition and the other nodes right so what would i do now if node dot left not equals none right i would go ahead and say no not node again root root dot left not equals none i would go ahead and say return do i return already can i no because if the if my left child says it doesn't have an answer that doesn't mean my right child doesn't right so i would probably keep a value saying retval equals false okay default by default is false retval is the return value that that's an even convention i always come up with and now that i'm doing python i probably have to do it in the python e style variable naming retval maybe i am still with in terms of variable name conventions i'm still sticking with java i should change that probably so if root dot left is not equal to none then my ret retval would be retval or um has path sum root dot left and sum minus root dot val now if so here um oh no is it uh, okay it is possible for us to have you know no left child but a right child so i'll have to somehow go to you know i should stop as soon as i get a return value right if not python if not retval so if retval is still false uh and root dot right not equals none then i would say retval or i can just return right because once i'm uh, the, the reason i'm coming to a right child is because my left child either said it's false or there is no uh, left i mean the reason i'm coming to right child is because either my left child told that there is no path or uh, the left child the left child in the sense the sibling right left sibling so if my right child is answering the question it means left sibling has not found the answer or left left sibling doesn't exist at all so in this case where we have four uh, four has a child right child one so one doesn't have a left sibling so the reason you're asking one a question means that either left sibling is not answering the question right or left sibling doesn't exist at all so in this case left sibling did not answer the right i mean did not give the right answer and in this case there is no left sibling at all so here if not retval and root dot right not equals none i would directly go ahead and return has path sum of root dot right comma sum minus root dot val is there anything that i'm missing now let's go up the ladder and see for five what's happening there is a left node so it's uh okay so 
Here, I mean, if red wall is true, am I complicating it again? Okay, let's let's get an answer and then let's later think about optimizing it. So return red wall. Now for five and uh, for five, what's happening? Uh, this is not the case, so I won't go in there. I have a red wall which is false. If uh, root dot left not equals none, which is true, uh, red val is red val, which is false, or has part sum of root, uh, root dot left, which is four, and some minus root dot val, which is twenty two minus five, which is seventeen. Right now, for four, the case is again the tr this case. It would go for thirteen seventeen minus four, and for eleven, this case happens first. It goes for seven and the value is false because this condition is being executed for seven it doesn't have a left child it doesn't have a right child and it's some the value that is uh, sent as a parameter for seven is three and the root value is seven so it returns false so i get a false here false or false becomes false so if not right well so if a false and root dot right, right not equals none so for where am I? Uh, I'm coming up for still eleven. So root dot right is not equal to none. So I'm saying has path sum for two and sum minus root val, which is eleven minus no thirteen minus eleven, which is two. So yeah, that seems to work out. <clears throat> Return root val. Let's see if we have any test cases. Okay, it's okay. It's it's kind of complicated to write a test case. Let's go and see if the existing test case works, and then probably we can think of writing more test cases. Uh-huh. As part sum is not defined. What's wrong? Oh, Python. Classes. Self dot. Same here. Self dot. Since it's a single function, I don't have to worry about keeping naming my variables self dot because they're parameters, they're not class level variables. Oh wait, that makes sense. Am I using this function anywhere else? Oh yeah. It worked. That is good. Uh let's try a few cases on our own. What if we have just one? And value is that. What if we have five, four, eight, and the value is thirteen? And we have five, null, eight. Oh, five, four, eight has the value, right? Let's say fifteen. So, I mean, I want to. See, I want to see a false as the answer. Five, null, eight. That is a value of thirteen. And what else can I test for? Like, what are the breaking conditions? So this one is when I have when I don't have a left child because it might break here. And this one is if I don't have a value at all to make sure it doesn't get stuck in an infinite loop, which I believe it doesn't because if that were the case, it would get stuck here. Uh, if I have no, if my root node is the leaf node, that is covered. What if there is no root node? Does that work? No, I mean for our case, it wouldn't because it would throw an error right away. Will, will that be a possible case? I don't know. Let's let's put that in though. If root equals equals none, or can I say root is none? Python root is none. Return false. I'm gonna do that straight away. Alrighty, let's run with the, these test cases. Okay, all of them worked. Let's go ahead and submit and see if if it's good. Yay! All right, this is giving me some satisfaction. Uh, I've been trying to record myself and give interview questions like for past two days, but I've been I've been, I've been failing consistently. So, and this question kind of gave in some confidence. Thanks to you, Nick White. Uh, this question, uh, I mean, thanks to which website is it? Pram, Pram, is it? So, I mean, I like the idea of this website as well. I'll probably discuss about this website in some other video. Uh, but yeah, thanks to you guys, I've been, I got some confidence solving this problem. I mean, though it's it's just an easy question, and probably there are so many people who are who solved this uh, in probably better way than I did before. But 
yeah it kind of gave me some confidence thank you very much and i think this is going to be the end of this video thank you very much for tuning in if you want to watch more of these videos make sure you subscribe to the channel and if you want to get notified every time i make a new video make sure to hit the bell icon uh like this video if you really liked it because it helps the video and also the channel and uh, probably there'll be more videos coming in different uh hashtag with nba series like build with nbas and i'll go with nbas uh and yeah i got this book this is a book that i wanted to get uh i i borrowed this book from a friend a uh, couple of months ago and i really liked it and i got this book home today so probably i'll dig some you know i'll dig into some problems in those book and probably i'll do some whiteboarding there that also helps me you know practice more questions again enough talk uh this is the end of the video thank you very much for tuning in i'll see you guys in the next video